Hi everyone, what is up? I hope you guys are doing great. So let's see what the energy is. I got a lot of downloads, so I can't wait to share. If you guys do wanna book a reading with your girl, hit me up, check out the description down below. It is first come, first serve. I only have a couple spots open, you guys. I also have my one question, one answer via email only, going for $10. Um, it is same day, so if you guys are interested, take advantage. I also have my candle special going till the end of August, so take advantage of that. I'm doing money, love, open road, cleanses reversibles all that good stuff so if you're interested hit me up check the description down below i have all my info so let's get right into it so i feel like someone's wanting you to fold someone's not wanting you to stand on business i feel like you're very in your queen of swords energy not really in your feelings really worried about money really focused on your stability i feel like a lot of us are wanting to change how we look our appearance our car the way we live want to like rearrange our room um our house our space just trying to better ourselves and you don't want anything to do with the past right i feel like the past is doing love spells i feel like you guys have been in no contact for a minute um could be you know a couple months a year I feel like it's been over though like that's the energy i'm getting but i feel like this person is trying to get back into your energy right i feel like you cut it off or they could have cut it off and you're like yeah damn maybe you didn't see back then why you guys weren't meant to be and you're like now i see it imagine i was with them like my life wouldn't be what it is right now right i feel like this person loves attention um and i feel like you guys you guys are very intuitive you guys are psychic or you guys get your cards ready you guys like to you know see what's up and that aspect and i feel like you predicted it maybe you were dreaming it maybe um they told you in a, in a reading or whatever the case was you already intuitively knew and they told you right and i feel like it took you a while to put yourself back together you healed a lot right you healed it took it took some time for them just to come back and be like hey baby what's up and you're just like wait the what the hell like who is this what do you want right but i feel like if you if they do call you um and if they have not they're like itching to call you or i feel like they're doing spell work for you to call them right they're like damn when are they gonna call me i feel like maybe the the psychic or the people are doing their spell work it's like yeah don't worry they'll call you and they're like when they're like uh give it a couple days you don't call <laughs> so i mean i feel like their spell work that they're doing isn't hitting how they would like right I feel like you are hella protected right now from God of the Angels. I feel like you do a lot of protection work as well. You could be doing candles. Regardless, I am sending you guys to wash yourself with the Jinx Remover Soap and do the seven times reversible candle. Have that shit uh, burning all the rest of the month because they are sending you stuff for you to you know, fall into their little trap and kind of look for them and beg for them and just, you know, I'm in, and this is the energy I'm getting. If you guys like to drink, um, I feel like they want you to drunk call them. Be like, hey, what's up? How you been? Or even text, right? All all they want is for you to hit them up, right? Their ego wants to be stroked, and that's not going to happen, brother. And not around here, partner, right? So I feel like you need to get those reversible kettles going. If you guys can't burn them in your house, hit me up. I can burn them for you guys. I do have a sale for $25. I send you guys the pictures, the updates, all that good stuff, right? Uh, but regardless, you guys can do them at home as well. But I feel like you've been dreaming about them or they've been dreaming about you. But they know that you ain't just going to fold like that, right? Um, and I feel like if you if they do hit you up, you're not going to answer. You're going to leave them on red. You're not going to even pick up, right? And if you do pick up, um, you're like, yeah, 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 whatever, right? This person can uh, cuss a lot, smoke a lot, like to party. I feel like they're reminiscing something about your voice. Um, the way you smelled, maybe you'd wear like good smelling perfume or your natural scent was just really bomb. And they're just like, damn, I wish I could just hug them and smell them. Someone really wants to hug and smell you guys. Um, you guys could have been um, talking around like the fall, like Christmas, Thanksgiving era, right? Like fall, winter vibe. Um, and they're just like, we're playing events in their head. Like they're just like, damn woulda coulda shoulda but they didn't right they rather be with someone else they rather be fucking around somewhere else and you're just like i'm done right um but i feel like they're lovesick like no one compares to you type shit right um <laughs> they're they're telling themselves that like no one compares to collective i miss collective so much but let's see what's up in the tarot let's see what's up let's see what the tarot has to say about this person 
yeah you walked away from this person and for sure queen of swords energy aquarius uh we have a little bit of taurus we have a little bit of gemini i'm getting aries heavy leo cancer scorpio pisces i feel like you left like maybe they thought you were never gonna leave and you did you could have left that night too um or you found something out at night and you decided to move on right i feel like you were disappointed or they were disappointed in the connection or how how things ended but i mean they were putting their best foot forward they didn't play their cards right so you had to leave right so i feel like they know that you're very guarded right now like you're not you're not gonna just let anything anything that they say kind of swindle you back in right they know that you're very attractive they know that you got the bag um I feel like people are like, damn, they're funny. Maybe some people know you or you guys have like mutual friends and they're like, dude, they were a good time. They're funny. Like you fucked up, right? <laughs> you can be seeing 333 on the clock a lot. Um, I feel like they know that you're heading to success, to healing, to, you know, happily ever after without them. Like they ain't it, right? Um, and I feel like they're like, damn, I could have had it all. They see you as very empress. They see you very attractive, man or woman. You could be the emperor, empress energy, right? Um, this person hasn't changed. So if they're trying to put this facade, like, yeah, baby, I changed. I'm a mature man or I'm a, I'm a different woman now. I won't do like that anymore. It's the same thing, right? They haven't healed. They'll never heal. It's inner child things that you can't, you can't fix for them. They got to do it themselves, right? And I feel like you're setting up for yourself. Like you're not letting any spell work, anything kind of throw you back how they want you to um but yeah that's all i have for you guys i hope you guys enjoy if you guys do want to book a reading with me hit me up um it's first come first serve and i'll see you guys in the next one take care